After a big week of results this week, we have some big changes in the top 10 and some big names getting trophies for the first time in a long time. Let's go to the past results and start with that because on the WTA we had one tournament and on the ATP we had three. So taking a look at the past results, starting at the Doha Open for the WTA, a WTA 500 event, and Iga Swiatek defending her title, defeating Pagula in the final 6-3, 6 love. She had a hell of a week defeating everybody, at least six love in one of the sets, so well and truly deserved. In Delray Beach, we had Fritz defeating Kecmanovic, six love, five, seven, six, two, to lift another trophy in his career, and he got a little boost in the rankings because of it. At the Argentina Open, Carlos Alcaraz back for the first time on tour for a long time, defeating Norrie, 6375, and he closes the gap on the world number one, Djokovic. And at the Rotterdam Open, an ATP 500 event, Daniel Medvedev winning his first trophy of the year against Yannick Sinner, 576262. And Medvedev got a big boost in the rankings, as you'll find out in a second. But let's get to the players that have gone up in the rankings this week. From the ATP and WTA Tour, Mukova. She goes up 11 spots to 112 in the world, slowly getting back into the top 100. Grigspor, who got to the semifinals of Rotterdam, he goes up to a career high number 40 in the world, 21 spots higher than last week. And Varias. He's up 20 spots to 81 in the world, a career high for him as well. So some big results there for some players and getting some big boosts in the rankings. Having a look at the players that have gone down in the rankings this week, Ostapenko, she's gone down six spots to number 20 in the world after failing to defend the points that she won in Doha last year. Wondrusova, she's gone down 28 spots to outside the top 100, 102 in the world. And Fanini, he's gone down 20 spots to number 86 in the world after also failing to defend the points that he won this time last year. So some names there that have dropped down big time and we'll have to play well this week to try and maintain their ranking. Starting with the WTA rankings now and no big changes at the top. Fiontech adding to her total and getting even further ahead at number one. Zabalenka, who's back this week in Dubai, she's at number two. We do have a change in the middle with Pagula going up one spot after making the final of Doha, pushing Jabir down to number four. Garcia stays at number five with Goff at number six, closely followed by Sakri at number seven. Kazakina stays at eight with Bencic just behind at number nine. And Rabakina rounds out the top 10 for this week. And out of those 10 players, nine of them are playing in Dubai this week, which is worth a thousand points or a big chunk of points up for grabs this week. Having a look at the race of the finals now, and things are starting to look interesting. Starting at the top with Sabalenka, still at number one after winning the Australian Open, and Rabakina at number two, thanks to the Australian Open final. But Belinda Bancic, she is closing the gap between her and Rabakina at number three, adding a few points to her total this week. And we have a change in the middle with Pagula going up two spots to number four in the race of the finals, pushing Azarenka and Lynette down to number five and six respectively. And another change down the bottom with Fiontech getting into the top eight for the first time this year, 14 spots higher than last week after winning in Doha, pushing Garcia down to number eight. Kudamatova also got a rise going up to number nine with Coco Goff coming into the top 10 again at number 10 with Zhu Vekic and Ostapenko all dropping out of the top 10 to the race of the finals. Having a look at the ATP rankings now, and no change at the top with Djokovic still at number one, but Alcaraz closing the gap there on points at number two. City Pass still at number three, with Rude at number four. Rublev at five, just behind him is Rafa at six. Taylor Fritz though, closing the gap between those guys after a win in Delray Beach at number seven. But we have a change in the bottom, with Daniel Medvedev getting back in the top 10 for the first time in a couple of weeks. Going out three spots into number eight spot after winning in Rotterdam, pushing down Oje Aliassime to number nine, Runa to number 10, and her catch drops out of the top 10 again this week. Looking at the race of the finals now, and things are starting to take some shape with Djokovic still at one. Sidney Pass adding to his total last week in Rotterdam to stay at number two. Ashenov at three. Paul stays at four, but some changes to the middle. Sinner going up three spots to number five after making the final in Rotterdam. Fritz also going up to number six after winning in Delray Beach, and Daniel Medvedev going up 28 spots to number seven after winning in Rotterdam. So one week can change a lot to start the season. Nori also got a boost. He goes up two spots to number eight after making the Buenos Aires final, pushing Shelton down to number nine, four spots lower than last week. And Grigspor, after making the semifinals of Rotterdam, he gets into the top 10, four spots higher than last week, pushing Korda and Lehechka out of the top 10 completely this week. So there you have it. They are the rankings for this week and a lot of movement to the rankings, especially the race of the finals. Those are gonna get changed pretty much every week until probably the clay court season when things might settle down a bit, or maybe even after the French Open, after those big points. But let me know down in the comments below. Is there any shock for you in the rankings? 
it seems like the players that have played well for the first two months are starting to get recognized in that top 10. And it's really starting to, you know, see the familiar names. You're getting Sviantek in the race of the finals, Medvedev back in the top 10. But big points up for grabs in the next couple of weeks. Let me know down in the comments below what's been the biggest shock for you in the rankings this week.